the glory hole. I just need well, I don't know. <laughs> five guys, I think she was moved. With point five. How do you I don't think I trust them to pack my belongings. <laughs> okay. Unless you're honest. Maybe books. Yeah, you know there you go. Just books in a box. That's it. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this then. How, like, how, do you prepare differently if it's, it's, if it's five people instead of one? Is there, like, how do you prepare? There could be a little bit of Jameson in my cooler. Okay. Mm-hmm. You'd have to get a little messed <laughs> yeah. up. Take just the edge a, off. Yeah, just a little. You know, just Why a not? little. But for a scene, let, <laughs> let's say it's a, let's say it's like a 30 minute scene or a 20 minute scene. If, how much of that actually gets filmed for 20 minutes? Like, Well, we're actually in a scene with five guys. We'll shoot about an hour and a half worth <laughs> of footage because wow. we have to get the enough planet. angles that are opening up properly and that are lit well. So we can't just get 20 good minutes out of 30 minutes. We need to triple that time. Okay. So we do 90 minutes, and it's constant for me because I'm the only girl there. Uh, yeah, I think they're well, not gonna do anything with each other. <laughs> well, not, at least not. I'm in not your having friends. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be a little strange. You have to have work internet. for a jerk off. <laughs> you did, and you also had to work to communicate with people. You could text or email them. You had to write them a letter by mail. Okay. So I would open my fan mail, no big deal, and you'd write back to all these people. And I had, I had a monthly thing where I sent out a newsletter telling people where I was dancing, what I was doing, and I was super cool because I was the first one of my friends to have my own computer. And I learned how to use print shop. So then I would go wow, to Kinko's with all the crackheads print, yeah. shop, print out the you know flyers in different colors. I thought I was super hip. And <laughs> a guy mailed me his semen in a Ziploc bag. Oh, <laughs> what? I did not know what it got he, to you. What did he mail I it I didn't in? know when I sent that that a it was going to get bag. all the way to you. Yeah, what, Multiple it? Ziploc baggies. Oh. I, I, I had mail phobia for quite some time. Uh, I mean, at least jar it up and make a nice presentation. I, you know, and it. then after I tossed it, I, I had all these questions. I wanted to write back to him and go, so... Yeah. So what was what it? What were you thinking I was gonna do with it? <laughs> I don't know. Was I supposed to A pop out the turkey baster? <laughs> yeah, yeah. B put it down my throat. Yeah. C rub it all over my body. Like I, I clearly the, there was a purpose. I don't know, but you you, you just came up me. with a new scene just now. Yeah. That, that was one. I like the fact that he was that accurate to get it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah. Like how do you uh, that, yeah. Yeah. You, you just you catch can, it. You, you catch it, it in. Yeah. Well, what did the letter say? Here's my spunk. I don't know. I was so scarred I wouldn't open my mail forever. All right, what about in person? I had a guy who was following me for about a year and a half and would stay at every hotel oh, fuck and sit that. in the fucking lobby and wow. wait for me to walk in out. Now, this is not a, a pleasant thing that I'm going to say, and it's not probably going to make me seem like a mean person. Don't anyone judge no, me. But no, he no. wasn't healthy. He was very overweight, and he had to walk with a walker. So when I would go to these you trade run shows, pretty all the girls would be like, why doesn't this freak you out? And I'm like, because he's never going to catch me. And like, <laughs> Eventually, like this yeah. is going to stop. But then it just started to bother everyone around me. It just got so uncomfortable. Yeah. And I was like... So what's the point, dude? Like he's like, I just want to have time with you, and I'm like, well, you're creeping everybody out, and it's a super serial killer thing you're doing right now. So we were gonna have to get a restraining order in action. I'm gonna have to. He's like, no, don't do that. So we ended up. He ended up probably finding someone new, but it was funny because for like the first six months of it, he's following soda. All around. the other girls <laughs> would just be like, doesn't it freak you out? I'm like. Do you see him? Yeah. Do you see me? It's not really. What's he gonna do? He's to not me? in shape. I know. I but, mean, yeah, I could be still. like, "Hey, I'll give you a head start <laughs> <laughs> to the elevator to try to rape me," and I'm still gonna fucking be here. <laughs> no. uh, Lisa, I wish that you could be with us for hours, but I know you have to go. I want everyone to go to thelisaann.com, Lisa's website. Um, also, you can follow her on Twitter at the real Lisa Ann. Check out Milf Revolution. Buy it. Um, anything else? Uh, my scenes, since I'm producing and directing the content, everything that I do for Jules Jordan is also available on my website. Okay. So with you guys getting this wonderful password, oh my God. you're going to be able to get these movies. Yes. Awesome. I'm on cloud nine. And, 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 and you're going to be in a music video with the kid from Breaking Bad. What's his name? Oh, yeah. J.R. Mitty. Uh, Mitty, yeah. yeah. R.D. Mitty. Breaking yeah. Bad. Yeah. I have not watched this show ever. Are you what? serious? Okay, but well, this weekend after I finish all my drafts, because I'm doing some fantasy football this year, like okay. obsessively, like I've canceled Labor Day with my family okay. to wow. stay home and do drafts, because that's how fantasy sports people yeah. are. But after that, I'm going to do all the seasons on Netflix. Do it. So that right when the new season starts, I'm like it's right already, there. Like I know everything that's happened. You need two, you're behind two episodes. The new season's already underway. Yeah. Right, I started DVRing it at both places, oh, so I would have nice. it, but I haven't cheated and watched it. I'm a little go. afraid I don't watch any violence on TV. I have enough scary people in my brain. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us. It was fantastic. Thank uh, you for come having back me. anytime. We'd love so to get welcome. a quick picture and a quick for idea sure. before you go. But thank for you sure. so much. 
Um, Who are you? You good? Yeah. Frank <laughs> Starstruck. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, He's so cute right now, isn't he? <laughs> well, we're gonna, I'm always this sweet, though. Yeah, There's always no, you're what I'm not. like. He's no, you're not. No, sweet. Yeah, we're, we're gonna steam clean <laughs> the couch when this is over. He would be a great son in my movie that did something wrong, and I would have to have sex with the boy that he owed the money to. Can you do to. this? Can, you <laughs> can I pout? Sit there and pout. I, can, I can sit there and pout. Look what yeah. I do for you. I'm yeah. such a good mother. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me I getting you out of this I call me the guy she owes money to. You're the guy that stole the car. You're the older brother that comes home from <laughs> <laughs> the prodigal son. Lisa, thank you so much. We will be right back.